Hi, I'm Sindastra. Let's unbox this Raspberry Pi Zero W2. I received this for free from an online shop for a review. It's buyzero.de as shown on the screen. Let's get to the unboxing. So let's see if I can open this. Let me try to figure it out. I think I'm not sure where to cut it honestly. Well, let's start by cutting the sides right here. I hope I'm doing this right. Yep, that seems about right. So basically, I received an email from a friend. He runs a Raspberry Pi shop. He's an official retailer for Raspberry Pi. Like if you go on the Raspberry Pi Foundation's website, you can see him listed in Germany. He will be listed as Pi 3G, or at least that was the case last time, which is I hope I'm doing this right, by the way. Or maybe I'm, I have to cut the sides. I'm really confused about this tape. So anyway, he's listed as Pi 3G on this side, which is the company. I think I'm cutting this wrongly. Um, but the shop itself is called Pi Zero. This is the most confusing packaging I've ever seen. I mean, it, it looks like it has to be, it looks like it's one of those folding open types of boxes. And there's tape right here. So that means this is where it opens, right? Uh, I actually, Oh, I had to find this spot. Now I got it open. Yeah, as you can see, I was trying to open this bit right here, but accidentally I cut into the package. I hope I didn't damage anything. Now, let's try to open it. Honestly, I have no idea what's inside except, oh, by the way, I have a few cuts here. I hope you don't mind. Knife is sharp. Um, I have no idea what's inside here except a Pi Zero W2 and a Flurk case. So you will get surprised with me. Dear Ned, enjoy the Zero Two W. Cheers, Max. Ah, oh, that's nice. A personal letter. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wow. There's a bunch of stuff in here. I assume this is the zero W2. Or is it? Yes, it is. I was expecting, expecting it to be in its own Raspberry Pi box like this. So I thought maybe the Raspberry Pi is in here, but no, this is the camera module. Camera module 2. Interesting. I did not actually know that they have an updated camera module. I'm curious to know if the camera module 2 is related to the Raspberry Pi Zero 2 or if it just happens to be a second model. So I don't know if that's related. I'll have to look into that. Um, so Raspberry Pi Zero 2W, Raspberry Pi Camera Module 2. What else do we have? We have the official case for the Raspberry Pi Zero W2. I think this is the same case as for the first version because um, as far as I know, the ports and the design stayed the same to be compatible with the existing um, case. 
So, what else do we have here? Um, we have the Fleur case. Um, as far as I know, this case is also a, a big aluminium heat sink. Yes, it says so. Aluminium case with built-in heat sink. Kitchen lanyard included. Inputs and outputs fully accessible. Includes thermal pads, screws, two top configurations. That's nice. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a charity symbol. Now, was this cancer or AIDS? I'm, I'm not sure anymore. I have to look it up. So what else do we have? We have the mini HDMI to, no wait, micro USB to USB, sorry. Yeah, micro USB to USB cable. So that we have a USB port. Then we have a micro USB to USB, full size USB. Oh, I think this is in case you want to use, I'm not sure. I think this is in case you want to use an existing power supply or if you want to use the Raspberry Pi Zero in a special USB mode. Because you can actually use the Raspberry Pi Zero as a sort of a USB stick. I can tell you about that another time. <laughs> so what else? Now is now there is the HDMI adapter, mini HDMI to full size HDMI. An HDMI cable, full size HDMI. So I'll have to use this with the adapter that I just showed you. And a power supply with the nice Raspberry Pi logo right here. Micro USB, of course. Let's see what's the rating right here. Uh, input 100 to 240 volts, 50 and 60 hertz. So, this is an international power supply. Output 5.1 volts at 2.5 amps, which is more than enough for the Pi Zero and even for a full sized Raspberry Pi, at least up to the Raspberry Pi 3B, plus, as far as I know. Oh, and the ribbon cable for the camera. And finally, and in case you don't know, this might seem like it's some leftover piece of plastic. But actually, this is the camera tool. I mean, the Raspberry Pi camera module has a lens screwed on right here. And you can actually use this to attach to the lens and rotate it to adjust the focus. So. To recap, camera module, the tool for the camera module, the ribbon cable, of course the power supply, mini HDMI to full size HDMI, micro USB to USB, and the Raspberry Pi Zero itself, a flock case. the USB adapter, the original case, and finally the HDMI cable. Wow, <laughs> that is way more than I expected, honestly. That's, that's, a, that's a complete package, A to Z, everything you need. Wait, where's the SD card? No, <laughs> that's the one thing. I, that's, the, that's the one thing I was thinking about. Do I have a spare SD card? Dang it. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm actually really grateful for this package. It's a huge package, everything you need. And yeah, I, I'll get an SD card and then I can show you everything you can do with this. But I'm super grateful. Thanks to Max from Pi Zero, Pi 3G. 
Um, the website is buyzero.de. It's his online shop where you can get all of this at a really fair price. So I'll get to everything in another video. This was just the unboxing. Thanks. Bye.